Welcome to Las Vegas Morning Kung Fu Channel. This is Sir Fu JJ. I'm so excited to present you today. Lyson the Black Sword. Lyson what? Let's introduce you. What is a Black Sword? The Black Sword. One side is the blade, and this side really can use attack and cut anything. And this side is safe. It's not. And this side can be protect yourself. So that's why this technique called Chan Tou Guo Nao. So a lot of time we using this part around your body to protect you and this not hurts you and you can attack back by the blade part and to come in your body is safe and you go twist and you cut out by the blade part. So how to holding your sword to make your left finger like this? Yeah. Okay. So what's your sword, you put between these two fingers and you open all the fingers. So this is a sway behind and this two on the top called sway two and hold this part and your thumb and hold the top part. So that's how you hold your sword to with your left hand. And you can put on your wrist, that's how you're holding your sword. This is how you're holding your sword by your left hand. Now we talk about how to transfer to right hand and how to hold. Follow me now. Attention. So put your hand, both on your waist, and you flip over your both hand and go both sides. You have follow your right hand and come back in like you take bow. So your right hand on top of your sword and you transfer it. So your right hand hold the edge of your sword, the handles, and you turn your sword by this way. The blade down and this part go up and come back to your waist and you push your palm. That is how to transfer your sword from the left hand to right hand and how to hold. Now let's start how to do the Zha Dao means stop your sword. Let's go. Your right hand on your waist and your left hand become palm to the left, feet together. And you stop left and your right hand from your waist straight line and cross your left, your left hand come back to your left shoulder and again come back your waist and go one and power out and come back and twist your waist you see my hip up and power two right there so the zato stop short just like you do your pants from your waist and you rotate straight and pass and power out right at the surface of your pants, like last point. And before that, your shoulders should relax. Only your face has the power and the power out right the last point of your pants. The zato exactly same from your waist and straight go the direction and you go the last point. Stop. Zato should make it straight and powerful and come back and go one two relax your shoulder power out last point and come back even you go quicker and come back and shoot 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 that's a great work now we talk about how you do zato to stop your sword and connect you flower and zato with a different direction so follow me now Start position, put your right hand on your waist, left hand become palm, step your left, zato straight direction, slow, go, palm up, last point, make sure your shoulder relax, and you're turning your directions, your arm go up, so one, your sword go straight down this way, and you relax your flower, and you relax your wrist, your sword continue to go down straight, Go down and go up, come back to your waist and you fit together, same time. Zha Dao, Fu, right your right side. So we repeat, one, step, two, Zha Dao, straight, over your head, four, straight, five, flower, down, go up, and five, six, one more time. One, two, three, over, four, 
Five, go down, relax your waist, and come back your waist. Feet together, same time. This is Jia Dao, how you transfer from Jia Dao and to the flower, and come back your waist, and to Jia Dao, another side. So, quick note for this one, the flower is a challenging part. You need to over again to training the technique. You think about the flower is cut. So, cut. So you got to cut the direction and you just relax. You just relax your wrist and this is come back. So you can do one right here and relax your finger. Your finger cannot be too tight because this is not going to go nowhere. Because that's not going to go good flower. You have to relax and you go cut. This is cut and down. You say cut and down, cut and up. So one, relax, go down, really close to your body and Go up and come back your waist, and you go. Shadow one, relax two, three, four, and go one, 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 relax. Right. So that's the way how you train and practice. Over again, over again, relax your waist and your fingers to make a straight and also fast. Now we talk about how to do P down the strike from the top and go down and you go other side and you go front. So three times strike with your sword. So this technique you must have straight line and you must have the direction really straight. So which the way you go from the top and slow to cut the line and go all the way down. Don't cut the floor. Turn your shoulder, go to top. Drop your head, go top, and you go cut down, and you repeat over the head, and you go cut again. Continues over the head, and you go cut. Very important to make your tactic straight line, and you go cut, and you go straight cut, and turn, and go cut, and turn, go. Go, 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 and last one. Now we talk about how to make your stance and also connect your uh, stances. The stance we learning today called resting stance. So follow me now. Your sword on top of your head, straight line this way, and you cut all the way down to your left side. And turn over, open your head, and cut straight. And step your left, turn your short blade to the top, and cut from the top, and go down. And your right leg just behind left, and make your weight on the center. So go down, straight, 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 straight. This is called resting stance. You step your left. And your right leg just behind the left, with good size. So this is the center. And your hip up, and you go down. Very important, this half heel down, never get up. If you this one up, you lost your balance. You cannot to make it. So you got to heel down, never move this one, and heel up right here. And your right knee between the left, and you go down. Keep center, slow, go down, go down, go down, and go down all the way. This is called resting stance. Sing, 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 sing. Quick review what we're we learning today. The first move on your waist, we do Zha Dao straight line, power out, plus. Put and sword go up. Very important, the blade up, top of your head, and straight cut. Go down, relax, and come back to your waist. And you go attack the other side. And you come back to cut your sword above your head. So the blade part up. So you go cut all the way left and turn over your head. And you cut 
the short directions very important. The blade go up and continue go up. You turn your wrist over your head this way, and you go cut this way with your resting stance. So now follow me step by step from the first move until the end. Left hand to hold your sword like this. Put and open, sway, two, hold, and come back to your waist. Attention. And go, one. You look the other side, and pop. Right hand, transfer to hold your sword. Turn your sword this way, on your waist. Same time, push pump left. Stop your left, and go, stop, one. And two, and three, four, five, and six. Step your left, turn. Your short arm up, cut left, and over right. Step your right, and you cut your right straight this way. And you step your left, and you step right, just right behind. Short continue over your height. And both hands cut and go down. This is a resting stance. That's all for today. The Black Sword Lesson 1. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm so excited and present you this lesson. I see you in the next video. And bye bye.